HIV AIDS is one of the biggest public health issues of our time. Globally, it's infected more than 60 million people and killed half of them. A new photographic exhibition in Sydney hopes to highlight the challenges as well as the success stories. Adrian Rochella reports. These are the faces of HIV and AIDS. The epidemic has devastated populations in the developing world, but much cheaper and more effective drugs have begun to make a big difference, with 8 million people now receiving treatment. So while we've made great progress, there's still an awful lot to do. We need to get another 7 million people onto treatment um, as quickly as we can. The Access to Life exhibition at the Powerhouse Museum follows people from the early days of diagnosis. In some cases, people were given cameras to track their daily progress from taking antiretroviral drugs. <laughs> Papua New Guinea accounts for 99% of all HIV infections in the Pacific region. Photographer Chris Steele Perkins says treatment is now provided in the most remote of locations, and it's the stigma of the disease that is a real problem. The barrier that they have to get through really is not the treatment, it's actually accepting that they need treatment and that they are prepared to make that effort. The exhibition also explores Australia's response to the disease over the last 30 years and how the infamous Grim Reaper campaign put AIDS on the national agenda. But now we know every one of us could be devastated by it. If you look at it now, it's a lot. we've moved on a long way. So I, what I think is the most amazing thing about Australia's story of HIV and AIDS is the way we really stopped it spreading amongst the communities at risk. Australia was quick to adopt a message of safe sex and clean needles to avert an explosion of HIV infections. But a thousand new cases are still reported every year. Adrian Rochella, ABC News.